Welcome to Oh I Had That, I'm Josh. I'm John. John, what are we doing here today? Man, today we're going to show you how to protect and ship your toys. You get something in the mail, you're all excited, you rip it open, the box is crushed, the mm. package is half open, your world crumbles, how do you prevent it? We're going to help you. John, you're an avid collector as we see, you get a lot of pops in the mail. Um, you're going to tell these people exactly how to protect them, how to box them up and ship them to them so that buyer... Maybe it's me in the future. I'm buying something. I'm happy with the way it comes out. It's a big deal. You don't want to spend your hard-earned money on those toys for your collection and them come destroyed. Because I'm an I'm a MIB collector, mint in box, <laughs> which I think a lot of you are. There's out-of-box people, which are crazy. But we'll show you how to keep those things looking fresh. Let's cut to John in this special PSA. What's up, guys? It's John with I Had That. We're going to get into how to package toys. So first, you gotta have all the, the good ingredients here, some tape, some packing filler. I usually use old newspapers, I'll show you what to do with those. And bubble wrap. I usually just keep this stuff from all the various packages that always come in at my doorstep. So it's good to have. So we've got all these good things. So I'm gonna show you how to package um, a few different types of toys. So we're gonna do a pop. Um, which everyone uh, loves to collect these days. Lots of options. And then a Marvel Legends figure. So first thing I always do is pick a box that makes sense for what you're shipping first. Um, you know, a pop is going to fit in this smaller box. Good. Um, the Marvel Legends will rock out in this box here. So pops are a big popular collectible right now. And they really, it's crazy, there's, there's some that are pretty high up there in vo uh, value. So there's other ways you can safely ship these things too and even add on to your sale. So there's soft protectors here. You can pick these up or these hard stacks, they call them. So this is, um, this is great for those pops that have a little bit more value to them. Um, buyers really appreciate you can offer this for an extra 10 bucks or something. Throw the pop in there. It's going to add some extra protection. So, so these are cool. All right, so first, grab your bubble wrap, just drop that pop down on it. First thing I do is just roll it up, make sure it's nice and protected. Grab your tape, the little piece on, just tack it down. You don't have to go too crazy. I mean, the key is to just literally just add a full 360 layer of protection, especially for pops. Pop boxes, um, man, they can get damaged pretty quick, and if you're a inbox collector and you would display them on a shelf it's just kind of bummer when the box is all messed up and it decreases the value so you know that's important for collectors that are going to be buying selling trading so i usually just do something like this throw this guy in here so look at that and that guy's solid bubbles all the way around protected but then getting it in the box so you don't want to just throw it in here and and slap it up and, and expect it to get there safely so what I typically do with the filler um, is you create a nice little just cushion. Grab some newspaper, just line the bottom. Keeps it off the, the cardboard so that way, say the mailman throws it um, on the porch and it's raining or something, the box gets wet, you got a little layer of protection there. Grab another one, throw it on the sides. So I will shove it, you know, in the corners and the sides. So the idea is to give it a 360 kind of protection layer of paper. It'll just help with uh, impacts. I mean, another thing you know collectors always complain about is the mail people. You can you can have somebody send you the most just Fort Knox locked up package, but if the mailman chucks it all around, you know it's not much to do. So this helps protect that. So look at that guy. So we've got bubble wrap all the way around it, paper in the bottom sitting on top, paper all the way around. And I will, for safe measure, I'll usually just do one more on top. So just kind of create, you know, a little bit of layer. Throw those flaps down. Grab that tape. Seal her up. I usually do two. Check that out. I think you can kick this down the street and this pop would be protected. So there's, there's that guy. 
Legends figures, same exact process, really. I mean, you know, and, and the key to this is just, again, like, you could fit multiple things in here. I'd probably, you know, you could ship multiple figures, stack them on top. All right, let's grab this Marvel Legends figure, and let's do the exact same thing. Let's roll this guy up. I usually go bubble down on these, um, these type of figures. Just something I do, just kind of adds that extra cushion to the actual package and, um, and bubble. So, so we got this guy wrapped up. So this box is pretty big, you know? So let's, let's ship this guy two figures. Let's show how we can layer figures in there and get them protected. So here is a, um, a nice vintage Broly figure, Dragon Ball Z, 90s gold right here. So let's ship this guy out. So this, this eBay buyer has purchased multiple items from our, our store. So we're gonna make sure that he gets them Again, just roll that guy up, slap some tape. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of tape. I mean, once it's tacked and it's tight around the figure, it's gonna it's gonna be good to go. So, again, the paper is what's I think part of the most uh, important part. So let's layer layer some in the bottom. Just keep you uh, gets it off the the bottom of the carton or the the, the cardboard. So see, bottom layer there, start layering them in there. We'll stack them on top of each other. So what I'll do though now, because Broly's kind of big and he's got a, a wider um, card, I'll go ahead and start shoving paper to offset it in the, on the sides and the ends of the, the figure here. Just using all this paper. No one reads this stuff, so it's just packed full of Who reads the paper? I mean, come on, people. So, all right, so there we go. Check that out. That guy's not going anywhere, right? So then let's put, let's put uh, Black Panther in here. So, do the same thing. We're gonna throw that little 360 layer around him, kind of keep him off the cardboard a little bit. Bit on the side, rip the Sears catalog. You buy this out there. Let's see. There we go. Just crinkle it up, throw it in there. That's all you gotta do. Easy. Alright, let's check that out. I mean, this could survive a hurricane, I'm pretty sure. Throw those flaps down, seal her up. And with something like this, you know, I, I typically I'll tape it up really good. And as a little extra layer protection, all right on the box, handle with care, fragile, just huge all over this thing. It kind of guilts uh, UPS into treating it a little bit better. But this is a great way to send multiple items. I mean, this, this thing is not moving around in here. It's safe, packaged, secured, gonna arrive, and not be damaged. And um, the collector will be excited. And then it displays beautifully on your shelf, Mint in box. I'm John. Thanks again for watching.